Welcome to the Does This Happen to You podcast, where we explore the funny side of truth is stranger than fiction stories. Our story this week is from Connie Walkup Hall, who you'll find on medium.com. And here is, when you lose your underwear at Lowe's, what else can go wrong? Dear person whose underwear is lying smack dab in the middle of Lowe's parking lot, in full view of patrons heading for the main entrance and minding their own business, please tell me, what is the rest of your life like? You lost your skivvies, dude. Did they just shimmy off, crawl down your pants leg and you never noticed? Was it a spare pair you keep in the truck just in case of an accidental shart that fell out when you weren't looking? Maybe you have mean kids who toss them out the window. I think I saw some kids like that running amok in the store. But I doubt it. They didn't look all that fresh, to be honest. Having never lost a pair of panties before, at least in a parking lot, I have to wonder how this occurs. I mean, what the hell? Were you surprised when you got home and felt a breeze? Discovered the family jewels were bare? Did you say to yourself in amazement, Where in the fuck did my underwear go? Did the significant other not ask you just how it is that you left with your briefs on, but returned all natural? I think I would have asked. And, damn, I must have lost them at Lowe's, is not a great answer. I would look at my husband askance. There would be an inquest. Perhaps it was a little tryst. Not that I'm a prude, but wouldn't it have been better to park far away from the main doors and not under one of those huge floodlights, otherwise known as the flashlight of God? Just a suggestion. As a former criminal defense attorney, I think about these things. I imagine the cops who police the lots do, too. That has to be a crappy job, come to think of it. I wonder if scraping up loose and abandoned undershorts is part of the job description. Along with a bulletproof vest, do they equip officers with one of those charming little whisk broom and dustbin sets for just such a scenario? Or, oh pantsless one, were you simply suddenly overcome with lust on your way to buy a new hammer and a few nails, and you flung your loincloth to the wind in your excitement? My husband positively salivates at the idea of a trip to Lowe's, but even he has never once returned without his drawers, and he's a sailor. You know how sketchy they can be. I've seen a sad, lonely sock left by the wayside, a sock that tried to escape and didn't make it. But you never see a pair, which is an odd thing, too. Why does nobody ever lose both, at least at the same time? I know that washers and dryers are famous for eating socks, but this is out in the wild. I've contemplated a solitary abandoned sneaker as well, and envision some poor clod limping home on only one cylinder. Very difficult to look cool doing that, I think. Now, it seems to me that a person could be forgiving for leaving a sock behind. After all, maybe it just stuck to a shirt fresh out of the dryer, and they never noticed it had hitched a ride. I recall seeing a picture of a young woman checking out at a grocery store, with a black lacy thong clinging festively to the back of her fleece hoodie. So I know it could happen. And maybe some nervous soul somewhere got excited and just ran right out of his shoe. That could happen to me if I saw a snake. I once watched a detective program where a burglar got in a hurry fleeing out of a window and they found him because he left an Air Jordan behind. Those are expensive. Geez, that had to be disappointing. But crikey, you left for Lowe's wearing underwear, my friend, and came home without it. And now I'm wondering if there's any hope for you. Thanks for listening. I'm Chris Kepler, 
and I hope you enjoyed listening to these stories as much as I enjoyed narrating them. I'd love for more people to hear these wonderful stories, so please share and tell your friends.